Al Masjid and Nabawi in Medina, Saudi Arabia. Al Masjid and Naba, a mosque established and built by the Islamic prophet Muhammad, situated in the city of Medina in the Hejaz region of Saudi Arabia. It was one of the first mosques built by Muhammad, and is now one of the largest mosques in the world. It is the second holiest site in Islam, after the Great Mosque in Mecca. It is always open, regardless of date or time. The site was originally adjacent to Muhammad's house, he settled there after his migration from Mecca to Medina in 622. He shared in the heavy work of construction. The original mosque was an open-air building. The mosque served as a community center, a court, and a religious school. There was a raised platform for the people who taught the Quran. Subsequent Islamic rulers greatly expanded and decorated it. In 1909, it became the first place in the Arabian Peninsula to be provided with electrical lights. The mosque is under the control of the custodian of the two holy mosques. The mosque is located in what was traditionally the center of Medina, with many hotels and old markets nearby. It is a major pilgrimage site. Many pilgrims who perform the Hajj go on to Medina to visit the mosque, due to its connection to Muhammad. After an expansion during the reign of the Umayyad Caliph al-Walid I, it now incorporates the final resting place of Muhammad and the first two Rashidun Caliphs Abu Bakr and Umar. One of the most notable features of the site is the green dome in the southeast corner of the mosque, originally Aisha's house, where the tomb of Muhammad is located. In 1279, a wooden cupola was built over the tomb which was later rebuilt and renovated multiple times in late 15th century and once in 1817. The current dome was added in 1818 by the Ottoman Sultan Mahmud II, and it was first painted green in 1837, hence becoming known as the Green Dome. It is made with limestone. The mosque was built by Muhammad in the first year of the Hijra, after his arrival in Medina. Riding on a camel called Kasway he arrived at the place where this mosque was built. The land was owned by Sahil and Suhil, partly as a place for drying dates, and at one end had been previously used as a burial ground. Refusing to accept the land as a gift, he bought the land and it took seven months to complete the construction of the mosque. When Sahud bin Abdulaziz took Medina in 1805, his followers, the Wahhabis, demolished nearly every tomb dome in Medina in order to prevent their veneration, and the Green Dome is said to have narrowly escaped the same fate. They considered the veneration of tombs and places thought to possess supernatural powers as an offense against Tawhid. Prophet Muhammad's tomb was stripped of its gold and jewel ornaments, but the dome was preserved either because of an unsuccessful attempt to demolish its hardened structure, or because some time ago Ibn Abd al-Wahhab wrote that he did not wish to see the dome destroyed despite his aversion to people praying at the tomb. Similar events took place in 1925 when the Saudi Ikhwans retook and this time managed to keep the city. After the foundation of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia in 1932, the mosque underwent several major modifications. In 1951 King Ibn Sa'ud, 1932-1953, ordered demolitions around the mosque to make way for new wings to the east and west of the prayer hall, which consisted of concrete columns with pointed arches. Older columns were reinforced with concrete and braced with copper rings at the top. The Soleimaniya and Majidiyah minarets were replaced by two minarets in Mamluk revival style. Two additional minarets were erected to the northeast and northwest of the mosque. A library was built along the western wall to house historic Qurans and other religious texts. In 1974, King Faisal added 40,440 square meters to the mosque. The area of the mosque was also expanded during the reign of King Fahd in 1985. Bulldozers were used to demolish buildings around the mosque. In 1992, when it was completed, the area of the mosque became 1.7 million square feet. Escalators and 27 courtyards were among the additions to the mosque. 
a $6 billion project for increasing the area of the mosque was announced in September 2012. After completion, it could accommodate between 1.6 million to 2 million worshippers. In March of the following year, Saudi Gazette reported that demolition work had been mostly complete, including the demolition of 10 hotels on the eastern side, in addition to houses and other utilities. Architecture The two-tiered mosque has a rectangular plan. The Ottoman prayer hall lies towards the south. It has a flat paved roof topped with 27 sliding domes on square bases. Holes pierced into the base of each dome illuminate the interior. The roof is also used for prayer during peak times, when the domes slide out on metal tracks to shade areas of the roof, creating light wells for the prayer hall. At these times, the courtyard of the Ottoman mosque is also shaded with umbrellas affixed to freestanding columns. The roof is accessed by stairs and escalators. The paved area around the mosque is also used for prayer equipped with umbrella tents. Sliding domes and retractable umbrella-like canopies were designed by the German architect Mahmoud Bodo Rash, his firm SL Rash GmbH, and Burrow Hapold. Green Dome The chamber adjacent to the Rada holds the tombs of Prophet Muhammad and two of his companions, father-in-laws, and caliphs, Abu Bakr and Umar ibn al-Khattab. A fourth grave is reserved for S.A. with Makron, as it is believed that he will return and will be buried at the site. The site is covered by the Green Dome. It was constructed in 1817 CE during the reign of the Ottoman Sultan Mahmud II and painted green in 1837 CE. Mirab There are two mirabs in the mosque, one was built by Muhammad and another was built by the third Rashidun Caliph Uthman. The one built by the latter was larger than that of Muhammad's and act as the functional mirab, whereas Muhammad's mirab is a commemorative mirab. Besides the mirab, the mosque also has other niches which act as indicators for praying. This includes the Murb Fama or Murb A Ahajud, which was built by Muhammad for the Ahajud. Minbar The original minbar used by Muhammad was a wood block of date tree. This was replaced by him with a tamarisk one, which had dimensions of 20 in times 49 inches. Also in 629, a three-stared ladder was added to it. The first two caliphs, Abu Bakr and Umar, did not use the third step due to respect for the Prophet, but the third caliph Uthman placed a fabric dome over it and the rest of the stairs were covered with ebony. The minbar was replaced by Baibar's eye in 1395, and later by Sheikh al mamudi in 1417. This was also replaced by a marble one by Kate Bay in the late 15th century, which as of August 2013, is still used in the mosque. Minarets The first minarets, four in number, of 7.9 meter high were constructed by Umar. In 1307, a minaret titled Bab al-Salam was added by Muhammad ibn Kalavun which was renovated by Mermd IV. After the renovation project of 1994, there were 10 minarets which were 104 meters high. The minarets upper, bottom and middle portion are cylindrical, octagonal and square shaped respectively. Like us and join us at Extreme Collections for more fun and knowledge.